Calgary is a very uh, heart of the new west, western stampede city. It's kind of a city where everyone's trying to get there. It's really uh, hard working. It's really uh, full of the entrepreneur spirit. The fact that like you see like this busyness and this excitement and this like, you know, man-made um, man architecture that kind of just inspires you to build your career up. That's why hip hop coincides so strongly with it because it's all about um, the everyday grind and the everyday uh, hustle. And I, I think that uh, hip hop has a place anywhere you go. Underground hip hop would be hip hop that isn't played on the radio. It's kind of a subgenre of hip hop where the, the style is very influenced by the golden era or the hip hop that came out of the uh, 90s. It's more boom bap, um, there's more uh, focus on uh, break beats um, and drums and uh, like a funk music influence and it's broadest definition. Uh, my name is Derek, uh, I go by the name Dureg when we're rapping over top of beats. Brad Kanakin. Um, I go by the hip-hop name of Rhymaniac. We call ourselves Doobie Records. Uh, Brad and I met back in, I think, 2007. Funny story. I'm from Nelson. Derek, uh, I was living up in Hawkwood. Derek comes in the door, instantly talking about Nelson, BC. What's up, yo? That's where I was from originally, and that's where he had just came from. So basically, just hanging out in December, and found out that each other does hip-hop, and can freestyle, so we kind of started messing around with that. And, Gotta get back to the documentary. That's Basically right using now. a rock band mic over TV just to get our voices out there and yeah, just kind of escalated from there. Um, back in BC, there wasn't a lot of opportunities for jobs and a lot of places where I can make money. So I figure, you know, come to Calgary, meet people, see if I can establish myself out here. And ironically enough, music wasn't the focus. So it was all about literally coming out here and kind of getting my life started. Whenever I'm not changing tires and doing oil changes and turning wrenches, I'm usually over here and we're hanging out, putting together music and ramming over beats or spitting freestyles. We use uh, audio, audio software on uh, the computer and uh, we've spent uh, quite a bit of time and a little bit of resources and money trying to get the proper equipment so that we uh, can make a little bit of a leap towards a more professional sounding album and a little bit of a more professional sounding record. It's kind of good for a little bit of creative competition because I think that the two of us kind of feed off of each other and make each other a lot better when it comes on to writing and putting together music and whatnot, but just as uh, regular people, man. We're regular people. We hang out, we watch movies, we watch TV, we play video games, we drink beers on Friday night. That's just what we do. We're just boys. We're homeboys and we hang out. I dropped the beat to now grab the mic. I dropped the beat to now grab the mic. My name is Eric Gutierrez. I also go by the name of Easy G, and I am, uh, as many would call it, a vocal percussionist, or uh, as AKA known as a beatboxer. Well, beatboxing is the, um, it's kind of, it's an art form, one of the fifth elements of hip hop. When it comes to beatboxing and hip hop, it's so united that it, it is just an automatic thing, and, and you can you can tell the whole story to one another without saying one word. The things I would say that are challenging, have been challenging throughout um, my beatboxing career um, would be probably family. Um, they're not always accepting, accepting towards everything you do, right? Because when you think about it, beatboxing, the sound, of, the, the sound of it is just so, it sounds so childish. It's making sounds with your mouth, right? So then they don't take it as serious. Beatboxing to me means, um, I guess I would say to be free. Um, beatboxing doesn't judge you how you look, if you're big or small, what race you are, uh, what sexual preference you you know you have. Um, it's just it's um, it's so accepting towards anyone that it's uh, it, it's really enlightening. I'm born and raised Calgary. My name is DJ Transform. I'm a turntablist, beat producer. Uh, mixed DJ. I am a faith-based artist. Uh, my music is is an outlet. It's an opportunity to um, express 
who I am, my faith. It's an opportunity to um, just really soul talk, like connect with music. There's something about music that just hits, uh, hits the soul level. So that's what it is to me. It's an expression and, and something that is a release and enjoyment. The challenges I've encountered with the music scene is that it's, uh, it can be clicky. Uh, I guess in, in anything in life, you're always going to do better if you can find a mentor. That's the biggest thing um, in Calgary. You know, it's a lot of country. It's a lot of, you know, this and that. Not a lot of hip hop, though. So I find to really get your name out there, it's a lot more difficult because people aren't taking Calgary seriously as a hip-hop city. When people think of Canadian music or Canadian hip-hop in general, immediately their ideas go to Toronto. But we're doing our own thing over here and we want people to respect that too. And we're just trying to get our voice heard. And, and right now things are, things are climbing up the ladder. Transit, shout out to that guy. He's been making a lot of moves for everybody here in Calgary. Give it up for my gangster Transit. My name is Transit. I'm a hip hop artist from Victoria, BC, living in Calgary. I mean, hip hop is is poetry. It's it's expression. It's for me, it was just something that, that took me from being, you know, like a delinquent to a kid who knew how to express himself. You know, it's uh, it, it only takes one guy to recognize someone from the city, and as soon as you recognize one person from the city you're gonna broaden your horizons. It's all about, you know, hip hop, music, the writing, you know, the beats, the art, and basically just, you know, telling people what your life's all about. Hip hop is an uh, integral part of my life. You can use different feelings in it, like your emotion plays a lot in it as well. What advice do I have for up and coming artists? Uh, I think a big one would be to connect with other artists. Treat it like a job, uh, save your money, make it sustainable for you. Realize it's not going to be fun. There's going to be times you're going to want to quit. Don't be afraid to uh, make certain sacrifices to make yourself sustainable, but don't sell yourself either. That's what hip hop's all about. That's how it was created. Make something out of nothing. Put a, put a recording booth in a, in a closet if you have to and spit some rhymes and get it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the art, yeah, I love it. I don't need a guitar riff in the back. I can spit a acapella rap, do it like that. Now listen to the flow where we do it, this and that.